Saving our game. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't catch who Quaff is playing. Oh, me too. Okay. All right, me too. Ness. That's definitely a matchup I know very, very, very little about. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, right off the bat, though, uh, Quaff decides to teach us what this matchup is all about and gets in a crazy combo. So, uh, yes, me too can combo the shit out of this. Uh, Our match showing that. Uh, she doesn't suck in this game. It's actually quite good. And keeping it nice and even right off the bat. Uh, oh, that wait. That was uh, oh, so wow. close. But Harmack turns it around. That really looks like Quaff, you know, had it right there. But, uh, oh, we got it. Uh, Time is 11-11. Harmack's percentage is 1-11. Is it a sign? I don't know. Yeah, that means Harmack has to win. Harmack's taken SG. It has to happen. Oh, this is... Is this winter semi? Wow. Wow. Both of these players' punish games are very intense. What's up? Oh, uh, finals? Are you serious, my guy? Just read. See, it says semifinals. No. 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 Right, Just I do trust winner something. I, I don't know how to look at a bracket. All right, um, so this is super close. Um, any extra credit from Harmac is a godsend, pretty much. It's, but it's always super disheartening when you finally get that little stock lead and then just to lose it three and percent so. Um, Throwing out a baseball bat there. This is a big turning point right here. If, you know, Harmac can start running away with this. Uh, I think Upro is gonna do it. Yep, all right, so Quaff keeps it even and um, it's always a little disheartening, and I feel like you know commentators don't talk much about like the mental game, but it's just heartbreaking <laughs> to lose to lose a lead. It's, it's just, I mean, for me, it's super frustrating. Um, but uh, speaking of heartbreaking, getting trapped under Pokemon Stadium, um, it's definitely one so way. So we'll see if Quack can keep his cool. Um, he looks like he's you know still dash dancing, you know, uh, playing smart. So it's always unfortunate definitely playing to see. aggressive. Oh yeah. Still, you know, keeping the pressure on, but that's how he, he plays. You know, it's it always sucks to see people get kind of heated because silly shit like you know getting pineappled by a uh, Pokemon Stadium happens. You know, it sucks to see people you know just get super heated and uh, you know you know not play to the best of their ability. Uh, yeah. But Quaff is a lot better than emotional babies like us, so he you know, <laughs> keeps his cool. Uh, he is willing to fight through that. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Again, Let's see how Harmack handles that. Apparently very well. <laughs> yeah, so this is still, uh, you know, uh, Harmack with the percent advantage, but this is anyone's game. Um, yeah, with punish games, the yeah, young Quaff As, as we saw, you two know, uh, can just run away with a, a stock. Good air dodge by Harmack there. Those combos. It doesn't look like, I don't know, U2 looks like there's trouble finishing. Um, and Harmak definitely takes advantage of that uh, taking out there. Young Cloth bringing out the Meta Knight. Oh, yeah. So you said he started off with Meta Knight against you. Uh, yeah. So he definitely, definitely looks distressed. Yeah. It's so and you can, you can just look, you can feel it in the style. He's just going right in. Um, yeah, he is now, hoping for a win here. Now, playing aggressive doesn't necessarily mean playing bad, uh, yeah. but if Harmack can take advantage of that and sort of uh, keep her cool, uh, this is uh, unwinnable for Quaff. Nice spot dodge. This first stock so so huge. Um, Really, Quaff, sets you know, momentum really putting for the whole himself game. Um, into it. You can't really see him uh, super well on the camera, but um, he's definitely super expressive. Uh, Harmac playing very well, though. Yeah. Right. No, but you know, Quaff's you know, keeping it even. Um, I'm super impressed. It's always hard to play uh, well when um, 
you don't really agree with uh, how the set's going so far. Um, so that's, you know, the sign of a really strong player. Um, starting to actually take the lead. All the momentum is... is There's the down B I was talking about. On his side. There's uh, Meta Knight's B. And he gets it again. Takes a stock. Yep. Um, so we'll see if Quaff pulls off or um, just, you know, runs away with it. Um, Armac definitely trying to play it safe. You know, kill the momentum. Well, three dares in a row will definitely kill some momentum. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't finish the combo, so Quaff leaves it open for Quaff to pull off an amazing combo. Armac eating a lot of percent. Really good grab. And that uh, up kill takes it. So all our talk of how uh, frustrated Quaff is looking, uh, here he is with a pretty significant lead. Loses his stock, but he's got a lot of, a lot of room to work with. A lot of life. So that uh, really throw. excellent dash dance. Ooh, gets the little Meta Knight knee. So that throw that Meta Knight does with yeah. the when he goes up in the air and comes down. Yeah. Do you know which way to DI that? Because it seems like Harmax uh, having a hard time figuring out how to DI. Uh, it. No, I have no clue. I don't really play. I have never never played against like a high level Meta Knight like this, so I, I really don't know. Um, well, thank you anyway. You're welcome. Right. Harmax. Down B so good. Gets the On grab. her last limb. Alright, Quaff silences the stupid commentators. <laughs> I think it's 1-1, one -one, right? Yeah. yeah. Is this best of 5 or 3? Best of 5. Best of 5? Everything's best of 5. Alright, and going to Smash Bros. Kind of disappointed that music ended. Smash Bros. got some dope tunes, though. Yeah. Alright, right into the match. Um, Quaff Quaff looking the to take the stock immediately. <laughs> oh, that down tilt. That was like the max range. Ooh, wow. Charges to the F smash, and Harmac with some really good DI. Oh. Sticking with it. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to be confirmed. Um, Har Ness Young Quaff showing the power of Meta Knights. Oh, that down be so good. Uh, Ness is, usually, is pretty floaty, and. Um, Sometimes some characters will have trouble, you know, finishing off stocks, but Meta Knight is not <laughs> struggling at all. Not struggling at all. The F Smash is uh, finishing it off really early, with it's taking 19% so far. Carmack well, changing up her style a little bit. You know, it, a little she more defensive. Definitely wants to, you know, play play smart, but if she, you know, tries playing too passively and sort of lets Quaff like move around and like hold on to that momentum gonna look really bad and it's looking really really bad with uh, potential four stock. Uh, really nice quick little two hit combo by uh, by Harmac. Um, nice definitely dark not really Harmac. not really looking too phased. Um, so she's gonna you know play to the end. Uh, good back air. Edge right opportunity and goes from hand out. Good spot dodge. I think being below Ooh, the F smash, the, the, you really excellent use of the disjoint to um, just stop Ness's up being his tracks, which that that hitbox is really strong. So usually, um, stupid people like me will just get totally destroyed by it. Um, the way this is looking, it seems like it looks like Quaff got mad, and then that little clip played, and now he will try, and he just starting looks like he's running away. Harmax seems to struggle when she is above Meta Knight or in grab range of Meta Knight. Oh, yeah. Uh, she doesn't really seem to have any good ways of getting down. Um, and so Meta Knight doesn't have a crazy disjoint, but, you know, these characters are both small, so it's not like... It, Meta Knight definitely has the uh, advantage as far as, you know, range is concerned, um, especially in close quarters. Um, all right, so Harmac definitely looking for some earlier kills on WarioWare. Um, but uh, well, Quaff is going to get those too. That's you know, it's a double-edged sword. Quaff um, showing that Meta Knight can kill very <laughs> easily. Uh, Harmax striking right back though with the down air. Um, really good stuff. I'm really interested to see how this goes because when so Quaff is playing you know super aggressive, and whenever that happens, there's it's 
if you're gonna beat that, it's one of two things. One, you just go ape shit and out aggressive them, or you just have to play super smart and super passively and sort of like give them space when they're running around and then find the gaps and you know take advantage. Um, Armac looking pretty aggressive right now with another down air kill. Um, wow. I like the, the small stage for her because she was playing pretty defensively before and sort of letting Quas just ap approach and sort of play his game in neutral. But now that they're on a much smaller stage, uh, Harmac is sort of forcing herself to, uh, you know, forcing herself to approach, play aggressive, and giving her chances to make something happen. She's engaging pretty well with oh, yeah. Quas' offenses. Yeah. Well put, sir. But that throw, that throw seems to yeah. really quick, get Quick Harmac. confirm, uh, some would call it bullshit. I call it gold crack because I'm a classy lady. That you are not. Yeah. Cool. And oh. I'm taking it. All right. Harmac uh, does not want to go out. Yeah. So Harmac her last sock, but this is winner. So even if she you know loses, uh, she can run it back. Um, but it certainly doesn't want to lose. Oh yeah. Definitely, no well. one, no one's looking to throw this away, and you know, this is not an experiment. This is, you know, we're just finally every uh, hit matters. Right. Oh, that was a genius grab. I love that. Runs right through his shield. So. Good weight uh, underneath the platform, but isn't able to get confirmed. Right, that's the down B. Oh, this is it. I don't know. All right, yeah, oh, the air takes it. Really good stuff from Quaff. Uh, yeah, played very well. Very aggressive. If I were to pick a locomotive vehicle,